All right, here we have a little collection of different vases. Not quite sure if that one there is a vase, but it's definitely a container you can put flowers in. Starting with this one here. I love this one. Look at that. It's got all the cracky in it. I don't know if it was meant to be that way. I think it was. Hope it was. I don't know. Try to see the marking on the knee. Don't look like we have one. Isn't that beautiful? Just to put a single rose in or a single wild flower or something. It's got all the lines in it to give it that special little antique look. And of course it's got a flower on it to show you. Put some flowers in me. Alright, and we have this one here. It's got all the little designs. Look at that. Oh, right on it. No extra marking there. See how they just like painted right on top? Ain't that something? Got different shades all in there. Pretty old, really. Neat how they have all these flowers. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at this one, double handed. Cool. It's got some age to them, too. Ah, nothing underneath. No markings, but boy, look at that. Quite a good size, though. Very good shape. Look at that. No nicks, no nothing. Very nice. What a different piece, isn't it? Got quite the height to it. It's a nice one. Alright. Then we get this tiny, tiny little one. Just a little wildflower, maybe? Or just a decorative piece. That's Japan written on the side there. Just a decorative little piece. All right. Now this one almost makes you think that it's a picture because of how it's designed like this. But it's actually just for flowers. Won't pour nothing. At first I go, ah, this goes in the pictures. But then when I look, nope, it doesn't. Oh, Japan. Nice. And this one, just some more blue. Straight forward. This one's got something made in China. I don't think this one's as old as the other ones. Alright. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend. And we'll bring you some more of what we find. These are all auction pieces. So you never know what you find at the auction. And if you have a knick-knack shelf in the house, these are cute little pieces to add to your knick-knack shelf. Everyone tells me I'm turning my home into a museum. Because I've put knick-knack shelves on top of the shelves. <laughs> on top of the entryways. And I like knick-knack shelves. So i got quite a few of them. Alright, one day I may do a video and just to show you how I've decorated my house with a lot of the auction finds. All right. So I hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and be sure to check out the description in this video as I have three books up for sale. 
Two are true stories. One was picked up by screenplay writer and adapted into screenplay format, titled Broken Souls. And the other one is a holiday classroom craft for teachers. All classroom tested by myself many, many years and many classes and three different schools. All right. So be sure to grab those ISBN numbers. You'll find them right here in the description of this video. Grab those ISBN numbers and get yourself a good read. All right. If you're ordering online, Amazon has it. But you can always take the ISBN numbers to your favorite book spot. All right. Bye-bye now.